welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to guide you through a visualization to help you shift procrastination to productivity. I led a client through this this past week and she said it really helped her find that motivation to crush her to-do list and stop putting it off. So I'm hoping this five to 10 minute visualization does the same exact thing for you. And don't worry if you've never meditated before or visualized, it is really simple. All we're gonna do is get into a cozy position, close our eyes, and you just listen along to me. So with that being said, find somewhere that you feel comfortable. Maybe lying down, maybe sitting cross-legged, whatever feels cozy enough for you to be there for 10 minutes. And once you are there, feel free to close your eyes. Don't worry, there won't be anything happening on the screen except for me talking. So go ahead and close those eyes. And let's take a deep breath in together through the nose. And out through the mouth. Another deep breath in. And out through the mouth. On this next inhale, pull that air from your stomach through your heart center. And let it go. One more time, drawing that air deep from inside you. And let it go. Beautiful. Keep breathing nice and slowly like this as you imagine along with me. I want you for just a moment to bring up that feeling of procrastination. That feeling of, damn, I wish I just got this over with. Maybe you feel a bit of guilt, maybe some stress. Bring up that feeling for just a moment and I want you to place your hand wherever you feel it in your body. Maybe you feel a certain sensation or when I said that, a certain body part popped in your head. There's no wrong answers here. So wherever you feel this procrastination inside you, I want you to take your right hand and place it there. Beautiful. Now, a couple more seconds of feeling this. I know it's uncomfy, but can you tell me what color this procrastination is? Whatever color popped in your head that you see swirling around that body part is the right answer. So now that you assigned a color to this procrastination, we are able to help your subconscious remove it from your body because now it can see it versus just feel it. So if you could, with your other hand, hold it out as if you had a mason jar in it. And I want you to take that hand that is placed on your body and imagine yourself pulling that color, pulling the procrastination out of that body part. See it in your hand. See that color swirling in your hand. And I want you to place it inside of your mason jar. So with your eyes still closed, feel free to take your hand and physically move it from the body part, pulling out that procrastination, seeing it in your hand, and then placing it in the mason jar and seeing that procrastination, that color swirling around in the jar. And now I want you to tighten it. Go ahead, twist that cap on, tighten your mason jar so tight that you need a rubber band or one of those thingies to get it undone. And once you have this procrastination in your jar, I want you to hold it with both hands and say, what once had me, now I have it. What once had me, now I have it. This procrastination is no longer controlling you. It is stuck in this little jar. And it's safe to put this jar somewhere else 
You don't have to leave it out and stare at it all day. You can place it in the back of a cupboard or your cabinet or your pantry or a closet. Find somewhere in your mind where you can start your energy pantry and place this procrastination jar there so you can come back to it whenever you want. So go ahead and place your jar. And now that we have removed this procrastination from your body, now that it's no longer controlling you, we can replace it with some productivity. So I want you to imagine one more time for me that you are sitting here in this visualization. It's probably something very easy to imagine because you're literally doing it. <laughs> but I want you to imagine that the moment this YouTube video ends, you open your eyes, feel that smile creep across your face, and I want you to walk over to your to-do list and look at that item that you've been procrastinating. What's that thing that you keep putting off to the next day and the next day? I want you to look at that item on your to-do list and without any hesitation, without a second thought even, you just go do it. So visualize yourself seeing it on the to-do list and then go and doing that first step, whatever it is. What's the first thing you need to do to start completing this task? Okay, what's the next thing? After step one, what is step two? What's step three? What else do you need to do so you can complete this task and cross it off your to-do list? Now, can you see yourself having fun while you do this? Could you see yourself maybe even enjoying doing this task? Maybe you play your favorite music and you dance around while you do it. Maybe you open the windows and let a nice breeze in. Or maybe you call a friend and chat while you get it done. Whatever would make this task a little bit more fun and a little bit more enjoyable, I want you to do that now as you see yourself completing it. And once the task is done in your head and you were just having a grand old time, I want you to walk back over to your to-do list, take that pen and cross it off. Feel those feelings of accomplishment. Maybe a bit of pride, maybe some satisfaction creeping in. It feels so good to finally have that done. It feels so good not to have to write it again tomorrow. You almost can't believe how easy it was. You're kind of rolling your eyes at yourself, like, why didn't I just do this before? But at least it is done now. Can you feel this feeling of satisfaction and productivity and accomplishment somewhere in your body? Again, I want you to place your hand wherever you feel those feelings of productivity. And again, I want you to assign a color to those feelings. Most likely it'll be a color that you very much enjoy. So now with your other hand, I want you to hold it out with a new clean mason jar for this productivity to live in. And I want you to pull that color out of you, place it in the jar, and screw on the lid again. So take your hand, see that productivity leaving your body, it's in your hands now. You're gonna place it in the mason jar, screw it on tight, and now you have this source of productivity that you can tap into whenever you need it. Anytime you need a bit of motivation or you have a lot on your agenda, you can go over to your energy pantry, pick out your productivity jar, unscrew the cap, take a deep breath in, imagine that color flowing over your entire body Feel it inside of you, that sense of accomplishment and satisfaction as you breathe it in. And then 
you can go crush your to-do list. So let's do that now to end our visualization. I want you to open up that productivity jar we just closed. Take a deep breath in of that color. And on the exhale, you can open your eyes. Okay. You already know what your inner work is for this week because I said it in the visualization. The moment this video ends, I want you to go complete that task that you have been procrastinating and putting off because I want you to feel those feelings of productivity and accomplishment and satisfaction. And I also want you to have some fun with it like we talked about. Maybe you can play some music, call a friend, take it outside, whatever helps you enjoy it a little bit more and gives you that motivation to do it, please do it. Not everything has to be so serious. Not everything has to be done sitting at your desk. Whatever helps you get a task done and makes it a little bit more fun for you, go ahead and do that. And also, if you could comment below what color your procrastination was and what color your productivity was. Because right now you just started your energy pantry and you have two jars in it. And you could use this visualization again for any emotion that you wanna be able to tap into at any time. But as you can guess, the more jars you have, the more colors you have, the harder it is to keep track of it. So I want you to comment it below and save this video so you can come back to it anytime you need that little boost of productivity or you wanna maybe have a procrastination day, which I would like to relabel that jar to relaxation or maybe just a little bit of coziness because people tend to have these negative connotations when it comes to procrastination. And I have some interesting controversial views on it that we could talk about another day. But as I said, as you're expanding your energy pantry, it may get a bit confusing what jars, what color and whatnot. So comment those below, come back to this video anytime you need a little bit of a boost. And I will see you next week for another video similar to this one.